Okay, time for another power supply repair, hopefully. This is a Caltronics DVP312. It's a 12 volt output, well 13.8, with three amp constant and five amp surge capability, fully regulated with automatic cutoff and resettable protection. Well, yeah, just turn it off, turn it back on. And according to this it is a model PS4UL, but it says it's a model DVP312 at the same time. So let's see what this one's doing. So there I have power supplied to it, and I've got 0.00, .00 volts output. What is going on with this thing? It was actually working up until just a few weeks ago when I tried to use it to repair a customer's LED light bar, and it drew a little more than 5 amps, probably like 12, and this thing just couldn't take it. So let's tear into it and see what it looks like inside. Well, here is an inside view of the unit, and as you might or might not be able to see, that fuse right there, looks like it's completely open. It doesn't look like it was blown, it was just opened. Just barely over the current rating of the fuse. So maybe that's all it is. Let's get a voltmeter out and test it. Here we go. And that fuse is absolutely open. Well, let's see if I have another five amp fuse to put in this thing. Now it claims to be a slow blow written on this. And if I move this lead out of the way, it does indicate that it is a five amp fuse. But from what I can see, this is not a slow blow fuse. Okay, now that is a slow blow fuse. A little fuse 313 is a slow blow. A 312 is a fast blow. And so the fuse that was in there, I don't know if you can make out the nomenclature on it whatsoever, is just a regular AGC-5. That is a fast blow fuse. I'm sure I put this in there years ago. I've owned this since it was brand new. And the date code on the bottom is 8507. That would be the seventh week of 1985. So I know I've owned this since it was brand spanking new in 1985. So let's go ahead and pop a fuse in here. I'm sure I added these fuse holders to it so that I could replace the fuse easily. Okay, new fuse is installed. Well, let's get the meter back on it and see what happens. Maybe it was just a fuse. Maybe that was it. We'll find out momentarily. All right, new fuse is installed and I'm gonna bring this up slowly on the Variac and see if it regulates. So far, no current draw whatsoever. And it does appear to regulate at 13.9 volts. So right there, I'm at 125 volts. There I'm at 145 volts, 13.96. So it does do a fairly good job of regulating. Well, let's go ahead and put a three to five amp load on it and see if it continues to regulate. Okay, so I've got my new fuse in the unit and I've got my Fluke 87 on the 10 amp current range right now. And I've got my 115 right here on the voltage. So I'm getting 14.02 volts out of this unit at the moment and I'm supplying 125 volts AC into this unit right now. So my dummy load over here, it's a bunch of 12 ohm, 100 watt resistors. So it's gonna be way overboard for this thing, but each resistor should provide just over one amp of current draw. So there's 1.1 amps and I'm down to 13.9 volts. 2.16 amps, 13.8 volts. 3.15 amps at 13.7 volts, 4.04 amps at 13.4 volts output, and 12.6 volts at 4.6 amps. So I'm gonna say the power supply is working about as good as it was intended to work. Anyhow, just had a blown fuse. Certainly hope you enjoyed the quick little repair on the Caltronics DVP312 or PS4UL power supply repair. Everybody, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. So.
So it does do a fairly good job of regulation. Okay, well I've got it fired up here, new fuse in it. So on the 115 fluke meter, I'm measuring 14.05 volts. On the 87 is on the amp range. I've got basically zero amps right now. I've got my dummy load connected right here with my 12 ohm resistors. So each one should pull about one amp. So I see 1.1, 2.1, 3.1, 4.1, 1, and the voltage is dropping, 13.5 volts, 4.0, and 4.7 amps, and I've got 12.7 volts on the output. I don't want to push it much farther than that because I've only got a 5 amp fuse in the power supply right here, and I don't want it to blow it. 